Hey Google Workspace admins, this is Goldie again in this uh, episode of FAQ series about Google Workspace and cloud identity. Uh, I'm going to answer a question uh, or a use case that uh, one of Google Workspace customers uh, had. And the use case is that they want to apply uh, a DLP policy on viewers and commenters so that they cannot download uh, the documents. Uh, which are shared by customers, users uh, to them. Now, the condition, a bit special condition here is, of course, I mean, you can go to DLP and you can you know, apply the beta policy of information rights management to get this done. But uh, the special condition in this case or this use case is that this policy should be applied on all the documents, regardless whether these documents contain or uh, uh, do not contain sensitive information. So I'll show you how you can achieve it by leveraging a regex, okay? So here is my Google Workspace Admin Console. I'll click on Security, uh, Access and Data Controls, and I'll go to Data Protection, okay? And by the way, if you do not see Data Protection here, that means you are running Google Workspace or Cloud Identity that does not uh, provide this functionality. Okay, so once you're in data protection, you should uh, go to manage rules. Uh, I'm sorry, you should go to manage detectors. Detector, you can create a new detector. I've already created one. So when you click here, you should be clicking on regex expression. I already created it and it will help you in other use cases too. And the condition for that regular expression should be period star or like dot and star. That really means that it will match everything. Okay, so let's do everything and anything. I'm not sure why did I put both of them. Okay, and when you click on test expression, you will see that it, it matches even if I'm not putting anything uh, to test because it's gonna capture everything. So whatever I write, it will always be matched. So I have this and now second step that you should do is go to manage rules and then here you will create uh, you know, a new DLP policy. So I think I've already created one uh, block everything leveraging regex. Yeah, that's the one. So I'll click on that and show you what I did here. So I put the description better than me, of course. And then you can apply this policy either on the whole organization or maybe a subset of your users. Click on continue. And then here, uh, I'm leveraging BCE or Beyond Corp Enterprise. By the way, I'm working on Beyond Corp Enterprise video series that will be up soon. But for now, let's say I'll say apply that policy specific to Google Drive and I'll say scan for all content and look for um, my regular expression and the expression was everything and anything. Click on continue. And here, I'm going to choose the beta uh, information rights management, which is disable download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. It will not be applicable on editors of the document, so please keep that in mind. Okay, and then uh, it's up to you. You can send it to Alert Center, etc. So I'll click on continue. I'm going to click on update, and let's make this policy active. Okay. So it may take some time, uh, just like everything else in Google Workspace Admin Console to reflect the changes that you made. Uh, so I have created this uh, Google document, okay? And I will just say this is uh, my test document, okay? And then I will share this document with uh, one of my other users. Okay, Beyond Corp demo user, click on send. Oops, I did a mistake here, so I'll go back. I'll make this person maybe a commenter because editors won't be getting that policy otherwise. Okay, and then uh, where is my BCE user? Okay, I think, it, okay, let's do this. Let's go to Gmail and then sign in with that other user, which is BCE. And let's see that user's experience. This is the internal user. But even if you share this document uh, with external parties outside your domain, that should still work. Uh, the only thing is that 
recipient should be either the viewer or the commenter. So when I click on open, if the DLP policy has taken place or it if it's uh, reflected, when I click, I still see make a copy. And that's because I'm in different account. Let's click BCE. Now I'm in BCE. Okay, and let's go to file. And as you see, I did not uh, see a way to make a copy or to download a copy or, or to print the document, okay? Now, let's do one more thing. Let me go back here and let's delete everything because we are essentially seeing that it should be applied on anything even if the document is black, blank, okay? So now, when I go back, uh, do a quick refresh from the BCE account and try to download it, oops, uh, BCE, okay? Now BC file, make a copy, download and print, all are disabled. So this was the small use case. I know it was uh, the functionality is already there. What's different here is that you can leverage uh, regex to, you know, use uh, it as a wildcard and then apply it on everything. Uh, with that, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. And if you have any questions, for sure, you can go to goldierer.com slash FAQ, and you can answer your question. You don't need to provide your email address, or you don't need to subscribe me. I just love doing this stuff, so feel free to leverage me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <music>